Hi everyone, happy Friday. Welcome to the Pace Studio in New York City. Uh, we're really lucky today. We have uh, Chicano Batman in the house. Um, after a few previous shows in New York, this tour and a couple attempts to get you guys here. Um, welcome, officially. Thank you for having um, us. You played a gig last night at Irving Plaza and then tonight you've got an almost sold out gig at Warsaw in Brooklyn. Um, and you're gonna be playing some songs off of the new album, Freedom is Free. Um, which is out now via ATO Records. Um, so tell us about the first song you're going to play. You know, it's about trying to stay true to yourself, um, regardless of what's happening around you. So, uh, you know, we got the, there's a bumper sticker that we, you know, war propaganda, don't buy into war propaganda, just be yourself. Nobody likes you, no. Nobody cares, nobody wants you, nobody dares To extend a greeting aid, connecting plans Life is just a jaded game to them They won't give it a chance But you know and I know That the galaxy is far all around us And life will flow on as long as the grass grows and the water runs And while I'm here on earth I rejoice in its worth Cause freedom is free Thank you so very much. 
Thank you guys. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about um, the the title for for that song for the record. Um, it seems like it's a riff off of um, you know Freedom Isn't Free, which right, is like engraved exactly. on the Korean Bumper War sticker, vets memorial, propaganda, all that. Yeah, that's exactly it. You know, it's um, you know we're we're told that everything is tied to economic factors, right? That's how we're brought up to think. So, um, but you know. Everything else in nature tells us the opposite. So really, that's that's the ethos of it. You know, the most beautiful feelings that you've ever felt in your life have nothing to do with money. So true. Yeah. True. And most or all of you guys were born and raised in Los Angeles. Most of us. Okay. Yeah. We got Gabriel right here. Born, born in. Born in Colombia. In Colombia. Okay. Cool. When did you When did you move to LA? Like uh, 11 years ago. Okay. Cool. Um, talk to us about the new video for um, for that song too that uh, just came out and also is pretty heavy, pretty deep, pretty real. Yeah, it was uh, directed by a collective of Venezuelan directors and filmmakers, and uh, you know there's a lot of political turmoil there. So totally. They they picked up on the message right away. They heard the song and they understood what we were trying to say, and so uh, they definitely tied it to some of their experiences and to like the really the turmoil the turmoil that uh, Latin America has always faced in relation to political oppression. Totally. In so many countries in South America, right. too. Yeah, sure. Um, well, tell us about the next song that you're going to play. The next song is our single um, that we started off. It was our first single. We have two now. Um, it's called The Friendship is a Small Boat in a Storm. Whenever you're Are ready. you ready for it? Yeah. All right, cool. But then you said in confidence but then you realize now I'm swimming in the sea floundering desperately trying to get a grip on my emotions I'm falling apart I didn't know until I got the stage Oh, no. 
Yes. Um, so I didn't actually think that we were going to get you guys in like the sweet like tux get up and the ruffle shirts and stuff. So A, thanks. Um, You're welcome. B, um, it has symbolism to it. Uh, there's a reason for um, for this aesthetic. So I was wondering if you could explain kind of the um, the the history, um, the representation behind it, um, and then I have another question that leads into that. <laughs> so many different things, really. I mean, growing up in LA, you grow up with all kinds of music. Um, just a, a prime example is like K Earth 101. So you're just listening to all the hits of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. <laughs> Um, and so that's a lot to choose from, right? Um, also, our parents, they grew up with all that, but from Latin America. So, you know what I'm saying? Mexico being one of the biggest markets for music in the world. Totally. So you got everybody from Colombia, Cuba, Argentina, Chile. So you find everything in your closet. I'm talking about Los Angeles Negros from Chile, Los Pasteles Verdes from Peru. And how they look like on their covers? Kind of like So this. fly. I Kinda can't like even this. handle it. So, um, you know. Just trying to pay homage, really, and respect to, to all that beautiful music. Totally. So part B of that question, um, relatedly, was that um, your name, your logo, has, you know, has some bat figure like imagery. Um, and it's related to uh, the United Farm Workers Movement. And for some folks tuning in who may not know about that, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about it and what it means. Sure. Just really trying to find something iconoclastic. Mm -hmm. Something that a lot of people would look at and automatically recognize. So yeah, people know the UFW. People know what that looks like and what it refers to. And uh, so yeah, people look at oh, that's a Mexican Batman. You know what I'm saying? Or yes. yeah. So anyways, <laughs> um, just yeah, really just trying to cat create a logo that that's eye catching. Mm -hmm. And that uh, yeah, that's what that's that's the purpose of that. Cool. Cool. Well, we've got one more f song for us today. Um, what's the last one you're going to play It's called for us? Pass You By.
passe pas, passe pas, passe pas. Thanks, you guys. Thank you so much. So I wanted to talk about one more thing uh, before we cut you loose. Um, you've been pretty outspoken about why it's meaningful for you um, to see like people of color and uh, Latin or Hispanic kids at your shows. Um, but I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about why um, that kind of representation, um, for the most part being first generation Americans, um, is important, like an important element for you guys as a band. I think that demographics just has always been there. You know, if you go to yeah. whoever, whatever big rock band you go see, Jack White or something, there's going to be a lot of Latinos there if you're in Arizona. Yeah. You know, if you're in L.A. But uh, that's not what you see on TV. Sure. That's not what you see on films. So it's just a matter of, like, not that, you know, mainstream films are, like, the best platform to represent what is real anyway. Yeah. But it's to shed some light that we can actually, you know, how could I put it, so that we create some realness you know what i'm saying and, yeah. and and show who we are and i think music for us is the way to to be as real as we can so Absolutely. Um, yeah cool thank you for sharing well, um so again anyone here in new york um there's a gig tonight at warsaw in brooklyn and um you're continuing onwards on tour all those dates are on your website um so thank you chicano batman um album freedom is free would like to share that we're yes. on the road with krongbin who is an amazing band. Really excited to have them on tour with us. Also, The Shacks. Awesome. Yes. Spreading the love for all. Um, catch Chicano Batman on tour. Thank you guys so much for being here with us Thank today. Thank you.